Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, 2 a.m. where I live, and uh, I kind of wanted to get this little video done to maybe get it off my chest. I probably, I hope I won't get as much dislikes as I get likes, but uh, yeah, if that happens, I might take this video down. Who knows? But uh, yeah, this video is about 15-inch uh, radius curves, or as uh, call Hornby calls it, second radius. Now guys, as the title says of the video, um, I'm not trying to um, go out on 15-inch uh, radius curves or something like that. It's just that for some reason, as the video says, I'm not really a huge fan of 15-inch um, radius curves or second radius or first radius, and I don't know how tight that is. I want to guess 12-inch radius curve. I have no idea. I, I'll have to look it up. Okay, so it turns out, turns out I can't find the exact uh, width of a first radius Hornby curve. Um, but I'm not even going to guess how uh, tight that is. I know it's probably super tight, but uh, yeah. Sorry about that if I offended anyone out there. But anywho, here is a piece of 15-inch radius curve that uh, I have. I've actually had this stuff lying around. This stuff actually um, it does work pretty good. It's better than my other 18-inch radius ones. Not those. Uh, those are perfect. Um, I meant... Hold on. These things. So as you can see, what you just saw, all of that inspired me to rip up all the Bach Mini's track from the, or the track system from the Bach Mini's track from the road beds and just place them down because it was really annoying the living hell out of me. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. Um, and I know you, might, you guys might probably say, "Oh, why are you going on about this?" Well, to be honest. I'm a steam collector. I usually collect a lot of steam rather than diesels. Um, and usually all my engines are pretty much six wheel drive and I got one that has eight driving wheels. And um, I don't know, you're probably gonna say, well, what's the whole point of that? The point is that I got some engines that are highly detailed that may not go around these curves. And, well, Mallor makes it across these curves a-okay. I'm not sure about all the others. I've never tried it. This one doesn't make it around. Uh, I'm sure that one won't. I know this one definitely won't because all these eight wheels have flanges on them, which means it could, the P2 could probably slow down on these really easily. So, um, yeah. I know this diesel can make it across this curve A-OK. -okay. I tried it out before and uh, hey, it worked really perfectly. Well, I'm sure it's maybe diesels that can uh, get through these without a single problem. Excuse me, I got a hiccup. And uh, yeah, and when it comes to steam, you know, some might do it. I think you might get lucky. You might get away with some that have uh, four driving wheels or two driving wheels if you have a single wheeler and uh, yeah maybe some with six driving wheels but eight to ten driving wheels um, I don't know if you'll get so lucky we even have a locomotive with 12 driving wheels that is a really big locomotive if you ask me and it's built by Union Pacific but uh, yeah well I know this one will Definitely make it across there a okay because these engines were designed to go around tight curves anyway because they're old, but yeah, other than that, these engines uh, don't think those those two, and I'm just ignore Mallard, those two on the screen there might, uh, yeah, I don't know if they'll make it across. So yeah, I would do a video on um, to to try and see if some of my engines can make it around that tight of a curve, but uh, I really don't want to risk any uh, 
anything that might uh, go wrong because um, I know this diesel what you see in front of you will make it as I said Mallor makes it across okay she can make she can go around those curves at a very high speed uh, Silver Fox can't do it I tried it with her a bunch of times and uh, she just will not make it around the first corner or second because they're just too tight and uh, Golden Plover probably won't be able to get around it okay because, um, hold on, because of this little piece right here. Let me get it into focus. Come on. Come on. All right, you can just see it. That little piece right there, that will easily snap off. But, uh, yeah. And like I said, the P2, it might not stand a chance because, like I said, all eight wheels got flanges on them. And, uh, you know, I really don't want to risk uh, any derailments or something like that. So, yeah. And one thing I do want to point out, um, I do, when I do get some new track, um, I am planning to replace these 18-inch radius curves. They're fantastic. They're really good. Any loco can, uh, pretty much all locos can make it across 18 inch radius curves, no problem. Or in your case, third radius in, for guys that are overseas. Um, but yeah, I think what I can do is that I can put third radius or 18 inch radius on this line and have 22 inch radius on this line or fourth radius. Um, or if I'm lucky, I can have 22 inch radius lines or fourth radius on this line and have flexi track on this line to make it look like it's a really extremely gentle curve. So that way, when I get rolling side that recommends uh, 22 inch radius curves, I can run it on this line and uh, or I can run it on both lines. But that's just, well, like I said, if I'm lucky to fit uh, 22 inch radius curves on this line. So, yeah. So, yeah, sorry for the big rant there. I just kind of wanted to get that off my chest because I, I, I literally just came up with this idea. Um, but, yeah, I'm sorry if I, again, had to make this rant. So, like I said, um, I just really don't want to take any risks of what might happen if I do run my trains on a really tight curve. Because, uh, oh, I know these days... Uh, Manufacturers do recommend that uh, you run trains at a minimal radius curve, like a uh, Hornby, for instance. They recommend you run your locomotives on second radius, but um, to be honest, it's really not the case. Uh, not all trains can make it around that tight of a curve. Let's say so myself. But uh, yeah, such as oh, model trains, maybe such as ones that have eight driving wheels, for instance. Uh, some might not be as lucky to make it go around that tight of a curve so um, yeah I hope this video finds you all well and I hope I don't get as much hate when I make this video thank you so much for watching